alone, okay? It's me, Cecilia, Peter Prescott. I'm sorry, Mr. Prescott. No, I'm sorry. I need an answer. What do you want to do about reinstating the charges against Steve? Are you all right? I'm pregnant, Mr. Prescott. Are you sure? With Steve's child? Of course I'm sure, and of course it's Steve's child. What kind of a woman do you think I am? Didn't mean to imply. Well, this changes the situation considerably. I certainly don't want to go up before a judge and argue to reinstate the rape complaint now that you've gone and gotten yourself pregnant by the man you're accusing. You understand what I'm saying, Cecilia? I think at this point, you'll just have to handle things with Steve on your own. I just can't help you in any way. All rise. Criminal Court of Corinth County now in session. The Honorable Terence Channing presiding. Can you see them? The People versus Cabot Alden. Are both sides ready to begin? We are, Your Honor. The defense is ready. Prescott, proceed with the prosecution's opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen, during the course of this trial, you will hear the story of the death of Nick Donatos. You will hear that he was not an exemplary citizen like yourselves. No, Nick Donatos was a gambler who liked the odds in his favor. He was domineering and selfish. But whatever his character, the law protects his right to live. As each of you is entitled, so was Nick Donatos entitled to live, to learn from his mistakes to grow old. The prosecution's entire case rests on that one basic truth, ladies and gentlemen, that no one, not me, not any of you, not even Cabot Alden, is entitled to kill another in cold blood. The people will prove that on March 5th of this year, Cabot Alden drove to the River Palace Casino for the sole purpose of confronting Nick Donatos and ending his life. We will show you the gun Cabot Alden fired when the two met face to face. The gun that killed Nick Donatos at point blank range. Ladies and gentlemen, the defense will try to convince you that this heinous crime was committed accidentally. That Cabot Alden was so overcome with fear for his granddaughter he didn't know what he was doing. But if this circumstance is even remotely plausible, why didn't the defendant come forward at the time? Why did he stand by and let innocent people take the blame? Because Cabot Alden considers himself above the law. Because he possesses enormous wealth and power. Because Cabot Alden expected, quite literally, to get away with murder. Now we ask you, is this justice? No. The people say no. Just as each of you must say no. Sending the message loud and clear that no man, no matter his prestige or influence, is entitled to murder. You must find Cabot Alden guilty because he is guilty of murdering Nick Donatos in cold blood. And for that, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, he must be punished. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my name is Sam Fletcher. I am representing Cabot Alden. First off, let me say without hesitation that Cabot Alden killed Nick Donatos. At no time will you hear this defense claim otherwise. The question before you is not whether he killed Nick Donatos, but how did the gun in his hand go off? And the answer is accidentally. 
On the night of March 5th, Nick Donatus attacked Cabot Alden ruthlessly. Attacked him with words and deeds calculated to slice to the core of his being. His love for his family. His concern for their protection and their welfare. Ladies and gentlemen, we will prove that Nick Donatus attacked my client so unmercifully that Cabot Alden lost touch with reason and fell victim to a spontaneous act of emotional self-defense. On the night in question, my client drove to the River Palace Casino with one purpose alone, to bring his granddaughter home. But when he arrived at the casino and confronted Nick Donatos, not in anger, but in hope to bring an end to Trisha's misery, Nick Donatos laughed at him. Nick Donatos taunted him. And Nick Donatos repeated his deadly threats against Trisha's life. And he continued this until the gun in my client's hand went off, shocking Mr. Alden just as much as it did the deceased. Did Nick Donatos die in that confrontation? Yes. Is Cabot Alden a murderer? No. Was his crime premeditated? Unequivocally, no. All he was trying to do was to save his granddaughter's life. And that we will prove beyond a shadow of a doubt. For lunch, we'll resume in one hour. What do you think, Sam? Well, we're in an uphill battle, that's for sure. Strong opening, Sam. Well, thank you. Shane, I had to go back to the office, but she wanted me to tell you what a Excellent job she thought you did cross-examining Steve. Coming from her. Then. The whole truth and nothing but the truth? I do. State your name and address, please. Trisha Alden. One Alden Lane, Corinth. What is your relationship? This is my Did I miss anything? It's just starting. Your Honor, Miss Alden has Mr. Sawalski before her as a hostile witness. Could the court kindly instruct Trisha said you were going to check up on Cecilia. Cecilia. Yeah, there was no answer. I'll try later. Right now, I want to be here for Trisha. Of course. We have allowed somewhat more leeway in this examination. Thank you, Your Honor. Miss Alden, you have had a long-standing and intimate relationship with Stephen Sawalski, is that correct? Yes. A relationship which your grandfather did his best to discourage, even break up. Yes. In fact, he negotiated Sawalski's release from prison after extracting a promise from you that you would never see him again. That's correct. At about which point you met Nick Donatos. But your grandfather didn't approve of that relationship either, did he? No. Most emphatically not. Am I correct? Objection. Calls for a conclusion. Sustained. Tell me what your grandfather did to end your relationship with Donatos. He disowned you, did he not? Yes or no, Miss Alden? Yes. Cut you off without a dime. Am I correct? Yes, and I don't blame him. Just very confine foolish. yourself to answering the questions, please. So the defendant coldly and calculatedly banished his own granddaughter, treated her, in effect, as if she had never been born, which should indicate the length to which he was ready to go, don't you think? Objection. Your Honor, I was only trying to draw out the obvious from this witness, that Cabot Alden is a man who single-mindedly goes after what he wants. And if it does not readily yield, he takes it. In short, considers himself above the law. Your Honor, objection. Counsel is making a summation. Sustained. So when he realized that there was no other way to save you from Donatos, 
He went to the River Palace Casino that night determined to bring you back with him, didn't he, Miss Alden? I don't know. Of course, Mr. Donatos had other ideas, which Cabot Alden must have realized. So he came prepared, armed. And when Donato showed up at the casino, he shot him. No. Believing himself to be untouchable, thinking he could get away with murder. No. Objection, objection, objection. No further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Fletcher. Trisha, do you want a uh, few moments to compose yourself? No, thank you. I'm fine. I show you State Exhibit A. Is that the weapon that Jenny Baylor gave you? Yes. Now, Trisha, what did you do with this weapon? When I realized I was going to get away, I just dropped it. Just inside the back door of the casino? Yes. Where your grandfather obviously picked it up just a short time later. Your Honor, since ballistics has established that this is the murder weapon, I'm demonstrating that Cabot Alden did not have it on his person when he drove to the casino that night. In fact, was unarmed. Hence, did not premeditate any criminal act. Least of all, murder. Now, Tricia, did you ever hear anybody threaten to kill Nick Donatos? Yes. Who? Jenny, Steve, my father, there were a lot of people. But never Cabot Alden? No, never. Thank you. No further questions. Redirect, Mr. Prescott? Yes, Your Honor, thank you. Miss Alden, shortly after the murder, you appeared at police headquarters and made a sworn statement. Yes. A statement in which you swore that you killed Nick Donatos. But that was a lie, wasn't it? I was trying to... I know, I know. To protect your lover, Stephen Sawalski. So answer me this, Miss Alden. How do we know you're not lying now in order to protect your grandfather? Objection. No. My I am telling the goes truth. goes to the credibility of the witness, Your Honor. But of course... She's already established her credibility, hasn't she? Which is nil, zero, none. 